lot of the themes kind of are, are obviously about regret and guilt and kind of where what the point of no return is and uh, and really kind of what makes somebody truly you know villainous or evil. We really end it on the art of filmmaking. Really, it's it's like you're presenting the art of film and saying, you know. This is what it is. We really wanted to let the audience use their imagination towards the end because we felt in the short film, it was hard to give resolution to do the full arc of the story. We wanted the film to almost be able to function as a silent film where, you know, the dialogue didn't really matter, but the only thing he does say throughout is, it's too late. The dialogue wasn't super heavy, but there were so many thoughts and so many opportunities to, to change course for that character that it was... The, the goal for me was to figure out a thought process that allowed me to get to the end. It wasn't really very difficult with the dialogue because they gave me so much freedom. Uh, we had dialogue on paper, obviously, uh, but there was so much freedom as to what you do between the lines. The old jazz uh, quote is, uh, play what's out there. Just think and, and let, let people in on it. These guys uh, recommended a movie to me called Blue Ruin. And there's a shot in Blue Ruin where you just look at the, the character think for about two minutes. And it was one of the most beautiful things I ever saw. And I, and I thought that was a great point of inspiration. If you have to give a conclusion, a complete conclusion, so I'm wondering what would it You're not going to get it that easy. <laughs> <laughs> there's this great quote from Peter Bogdanovich, which is that great films don't give answers, they ask questions. And so. The fact that there could be a hundred different conclusions from this is all we could ask for.